What's up guys, how's it going today? So, we've uh, been playing with a little PWM controller and this uh, 18650 block for a while now. And uh, you may have seen my previous video where I uh, opened up the little PWM controller. Uh, the actual reason I opened it up is because the USB output was sometimes working, sometimes not working. Like you plug something into it and come back half an hour later and it wasn't going. So, uh, and when I had a look inside, it was pretty primitive and it didn't have uh, proper cooling or contact with the uh, rear heatsink. So I thought, yeah, right, oh, it's a cheap product, but hey, let's message the, um, message the seller on eBay. So I sent them a message and they sent me another one. I never sent him a message saying, hey, I want a new one, or hey, I want my money back. I just said, you know, USB kicks in and out, and uh, the quality's not amazing. But anyhow, that's not the total purpose of this video right now. But what we will make in the future is a hybrid system, in which I'm going to have one solar panel, which is still the 40 water up on the roof. Let it come in just like we are, and go through the watt meter just like we are. Then we're going to run the power from the solar panel to two separate charge controllers. So I'm going to mount another one up there. One of those is going to go to this battery bank, the 18650 pack, and that's going to charge up first because it's a lower voltage. When that's charged up to 12.6, then this new beast start charging. Now it's not new, picked up second hand. Um, had to put a bit of liquid in it, it was a little bit well, not dry, but what you could do with some liquid. It's a 100 amp hour, 12 volt, full river, valve regulated battery. So it is a sealed that acid. Little vents, pop open and put liquid in. We're just giving that the first charger. Um, I was going to put it on a big charger. I've got a forklift battery charger, um, which is 25 amps. But then I decided not to go that way. As it um, has a max charging current at 20 amps, which I thought was strange, but um, sealed lead acids obviously uh, do have that. So, what I did was I bumped up the voltage on the charge regulator back up to, uh, I stopped it at 14.4. It's saying on the side of it that its cycle charge can be right up to 14.9, so we may even turn that up yet. Now, we're currently at 12.2 volts. 25 watts going in. Pump that up a bit more. We've got, we've got about an uh, amp and a half coming out of the solar and uh, two amps coming out of the uh, lab power supply through the capacitor so the power supply doesn't go stupid with the PWM. So we're putting in about 40 watts at the moment. We'll do this just to give that a boost up and a, get a quicker result out of the uh, charger. And uh, what we'll do is we'll see the total amount of energy I've put into it. Uh, probably, it's not even going to be today. It's probably going to be another day. Three amps. So we're probably only going to be two amps overnight. So three amps for the next, say, ten hours. It's only 30 amp hours. So it's, going to, it's going to take a bit of time to charge if it's got full capacity still. But, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find here somewhere, find the uh, 1000 watt inverter, we connect the 1000 watt inverter up to this one, it's got nice bolt down battery terminals, put the 1000 watt inverter on that one, and uh, just keep the little 600 on this one, and uh, start using some of the free power that's coming out of the sun, because uh, if I don't use this one here for the day, it's kind of wasted, and it's just, obviously it's sits there charged and it doesn't go anywhere so it's just a bit of a waste uh, especially when I've got a little panel on the roof doing its job I know it's not much of a panel but um, the, uh, the more storage we've got the better um, there's no point in not charging the battery up so what we'll do is we'll get this charged once it's charged we'll stick a kilowatt hour meter on the outlet of uh, this inverter or the 1000 watt one if I've got that on there at that stage and what we'll do is we'll run it until the uh, battery actually cuts 
into the, yeah, until the inverter actually cuts battery voltage. When it does that, um, we'll have an idea of how many usable kilowatt hours are in it. You would say 1.2 if you said 12 volts, 100, 100 amp hour. But uh, if ever if we get a kilowatt hour out of it, that's awesome. Especially considering it was a uh, basically an on exchange. I just took a bugger battery in and got that one. So it's a second handy. That's one reason I'm charging it with the. Um, PWM solar controller because uh, that'll be nice and it will top it off in like a pulse um, and hopefully that'll get the most capacity back into the battery so we can uh, utilize it totally so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little step for it down the bottom there that can be below this lithium pack on the wall so I can tidy all the wiring up in that get it off the bench this bench and um, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching YouTube. Next video will be uh, coming soon of a discharge chest.